In this problem, we're given one value for the car's deceleration, which means we can assume that the acceleration is constant. And if the acceleration is constant, then we can use one of our kinematics equations specially designed for cases of problems like these. I've written out the three most common equations on the side here in this little box. Remember that with these equations, the method we use for these types of problems is we make note of which variables we have and which variable we're trying to find and pick whichever equation will best help us find that. So in this case, in this problem, we are trying to find the speed of the car just before it began braking. So we're looking for the initial speed of the car immediately prior to the brake. So V0 is the unknown. Now we're given the acceleration. The acceleration is given, it's a deceleration of 4 mil, uh, meters per second squared. So I'll write that as a negative 4 meter per second squared. The car is decelerating to a stop, so the final speed is assumed to be zero. And we're told that the skid marks are 65 meters long, which means the car was braking across that distance. So 65 meters is delta x. So now that we've made note of all these variables, now we just need to pick out the equation that will help us find v naught. We need to pick out the equation that has all four of these variables, which we can see is the third equation for v squared. So we're going to take that equation and solve it for v naught. First off, we'll subtract from both sides of the equation 2a delta x. So v naught squared equals v squared minus 2a delta x. And since we have a v naught squared on one side, we'll have to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So we find that v naught is equal to the square root of v squared minus 2a delta x. And now we'll just plug our values into this equation. So v naught is equal to the square root of v squared, and remember v is 0, so that's 0 squared, minus 2 multiplied by the acceleration, which is negative 4 meter per second squared, all multiplied by the distance, which is 65 meters. If we put all of this into a calculator, then we find a speed of about 23 meters per second. And so that is our answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.